so today we're going to talk about this look right here. I used the Jaclyn Hill palette, um, and I used pretty much most of the red colors and stuff like that that are in there. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video, and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, this one is called the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. It's for acne treatment. It's got salicylic acid in it, so it helps... Um, you have a spot on your face that you're trying to treat or trying to get rid of or trying to cover the reason why you put makeup on um, this will help kind of prevent it from getting any bigger and help treat it and make it um, smaller so let's go ahead and get started so I'm just gonna get a little dab on my finger nothing too crazy so it's not much it's all you need and I literally just put it in my t-zone so I'll rub it together and get it on my fingers and then I'll just work it on my chin and then I'll go back in and pat it once it's done. And then I'm going to work on it on my pores because it's supposed to help mattify and keep me perfectly fine all day. So I'm going to do the eye tutorial I did this weekend so you guys can see what, it, what I did. And it's pretty simple, honestly. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. It's set. I'm going to pat it in real quick. You should always pat your primers in. I wanted to try out a new primer just because I feel like I get really, I stay in the same routine 24-7 and it just, I don't know, I just don't like it. I'd rather, you know, find something new to try or throw something new in. I just feel like I stay in the same constant repetition and I just, then I get bored of what I'm doing and I don't feel like an actual like makeup artist or stylist that went to school or anything like that. I just... I don't know, it kind of drives me nuts. I didn't... I don't know. So I'm going to prime my eyes with the Hangover Replenishing Primer. So I just prime my eyes and I'm going to work the excess product that's on my fingers out. Use the... For the rest of my face, that's pretty dry. Like, I've, I'm dry on the outsides of my face, but just my center. I'm combination skin, so I just... I'm going to use the uh, MAC Prep and Set Primer, the Fix Plus one, and we're going to put it all over the face. On the outside, actually. And then let that sit in. And then I'm going to rub just the excess product. I'm going to put it down my neck because you want to treat your neck the same way that you treat your face because. That's what's going to start premature in two, is that you want to bring, when you do it, you want to bring it up the neck, so you want to work it, the skin. and same with this, when you roll, you roll up, and then pat, then lead, there's my beauty blender, yes it is clean, I promise you, it's just discolored, get the excess water out real quick, and pat it all over. And then we're going to set our lid with the Derma Blends. And then, actually, now we're going to set our under eye with that. We're going to set our eye with the MAC. I'm going to my brush. And then we use a little Morphe brush. I'm going to take a little bit in the lid on the, from the MAC Prep and Set, or the MAC Setting Powder, sorry. Tap off any excess. We're going to tap this all over our lid. So we are going to talk about the Jaclyn Hill palette again. I'm going to do this eye with this color, or with this color, with this palette. So the colors I did were these two colors. I need to look these colors up so I can tell you exactly what it is. It is Silk Cream and then M -E M F E O. So we're going to start with those. And I'm going to take a little blender brush from Morphe and we're just going to look them up. I'm just going to work it up to the brow bone a little bit. I go into uh, Cream Sickle, which is this color right here. And I'm going to use the same brush. Don't really need to change. I'll just grab a crisp, clean brush to blend everything out. I'm going to tap off any of the excess. I'm just going to work that up into the brow bone. And 
And I love this GoPro because it's got an app that you can see if it's recording, like a viewfinder, and it's amazing. So I get to use it on my iPad, my viewfinder, and I'm buttery, butter. I'm going to just deepen my crease a little bit more. I'm going to bring it over. I'm just doing the same eye tutorial I did for um, Saturday. It was a red, um, it was kind of like a cut crease, but I didn't actually go and cut it. I just kind of kept all my products on the outside and nothing was brought in. So then I'm going to grab, I'm going to leave that brush out, Jax. I'm going to go into the color Jax right here. And I'm just going to coat my brush with it a little bit. Tap off any of the excess. And we're going to work it on the inner part of the lid. So we're going to pat it here. Pat it here. Take the same blender brush. And we're going to go back into cream sickle. Just kind of soften it and blend it all out. Just give us a nice gradient transition. Jacks again. And just pat it. Pat it. And just leave it. A brown color right here. Just write that on the thing so I know I'm going to use it. And I'm just going to put that on the outer C. It's like a red brown. I'll just leave that there. Give it a little moment itself. Okay. We've been having cold weather here where I live. And I've been loving having fall colors on my lids. It just gives me life, honestly. Sorry, it was a little messy today, but I'm going to take a little flat brush. I'm going to go to the Carly <clears throat> Bible palette, and we're just going to pat that on the lid. Kind of blend everything out. I didn't have to do this on Saturday, but that was a little messy today. So. So today we're going to do the Sephora uh, Delegate um, Fair and Fair. I'm just going to work this product out with my beauty blender. And I like the beauty blender to still kind of have a little bit of water in it. Like damp, but not like too damp, if that makes sense. And so it's just buildable. This product's really buildable. You can even have, like, you can wear it as, like, a, a sheer, sheer to medium coverage. And when you use a beauty blender, it makes it sheer to me. I do it on clients that way because it looks like they're not wearing that much makeup. And a lot of people always comment about that. Like, I feel like I'm not wearing anything. And literally, when you use a beauty blender or a sponge or a brush, it shears it out to, like, because um, some of the foundations are full coverage, but they're mostly buildable full coverage. So, I'm going to do this side now. Mm -hmm. They're amazing for clients that are like, like bridal clients. I love using these foundations for bridal clients. I wish. And I have a lot of clients that love this foundation anyway, so. That want to buy it. I have my foundation that I use for like when I want to go out. So you can do the same thing. Like this could be your perfect foundation for like when you want to go out and have like a good time, without having to feel over full of foundation and feel cakey or whatever. That could be your foundation for going out, and that would be the best foundation, honestly, that you would need for going out.
Try, I've been trying the Ulta Beauty Blender. I like it for like foundation, but like I literally feel like I have to pounce it into my skin with this. It's just like it moves already. And then I'm not sitting there like pushing it into my skin. Like with this one, I'm like literally like beating my face with it. And I really like a white under eye. For some reason, I have no idea why, but I just feel like I don't look the same. I want to have a, like, makeup makes me want to have a change to my face. So, like, I literally like to have a light under eye. Not for me. And then the, whatever that stuff is. But anyways, um, I just don't care about that stuff either. Just coat my lashes a little bit. Hashtag I slay. That's what it is. That's what they are. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use the eyelash duo. We're doing the left lash. I'm going to bend it. I'm going to place it on the lash line. And I'm going to push it into my skin. I'm going to go into the 9M palette of for Morphe, also $20, and you get all these shades for that amount. And then I went into this color right here, so we're going to just pat that on. And these are pigmented, so I'm going to tap off any of that excess. And then I'm just going to take the color out. Setting spray. And I love this stuff because it's just, I feel so good on the skin and it smells so delicious. Like I literally wish you could smell this. It's the rose gold color right here. The one that's well left. I'm just going to put that on the cheekbone. Forehead. I'm trying to find my little highlighter brush. There she is. Rose gold on the tip of the nose. That in the gold color with that on the brow bone. Just a little, little I don't know. Grab the highlight in your corner. Because I use the Jack and Hill palette by Morphe. And I use Light and Beam are the two highlight colors I'm using. These two right here. I'm going to highlight the inner corner. And that, my friends, is the finished product. For everyone that does follow me and have subscribed to my channel and do that does watch my videos, it really means a lot to me. I just want to say thank you and tell you that I'm eternally grateful. And I've kind of accelerated since then, and then I just want to tell her thank you again, Johnny. That I mean, it means a lot to me that you stood up to the plate and helped me get things so I could start and have given me information that I needed. It was a lot to me and I want to say thank you to my brother now because he's helping me find things that I need and um, helping me kind of succeed again also and kind of helping me. It means a lot that you guys are willing to watch me and follow me and have conversations with me and I love that I'm getting new people. It just means a lot. So. Thank you guys again. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, we'll see you next time on my video. Hopefully I'll do one tomorrow for you guys. Thanks.